Alrighty then. Time for us to make a start with V Rally 1 as we begin with arcade mode. And we start off with four stages here, then we've got six stages to do in medium and eight stages to do on hard. Basically, the main objective you have is not necessarily to win all of these races, but just to make sure you get to the end. And because I really don't want this to take too long, we can adjust our settings. So, the default settings is that you can do a total of three laps. However, because I want to get through this game as quickly as possible, I'm only going to do two laps. We can also do a maximum of six laps on each of these tracks. We start off with three credits, but then we can move up to five credits if we are successful in completing each of the arcade stages. And also we get the slower card boost on. We can also turn that off. I'm not sure if that either does or doesn't help, but if anyone wants to let me know in the comments about how that works, then feel free to do so. And you know what? I think the car I'm going to use to start with... Let's start with the Subaru, just because I figure since the most powerful cars are going to be probably the hardest to drive, I might as well get the huge power plant cars out of the way first. So we can either choose the Ford Escort, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 4, or the Subaru Impreza. And you know what? I want to use the Impreza, just because this car and these tracks, I think it'll work out alright. So we're heading to Corsica, Indonesia, Spain, and England. Hopefully this will not take too long, because if there is one thing I know about the hard stage of arcade mode, it's that it will basically kick my ass. So I will have to come up with a compromise for the fucking hard difficulty in arcade mode, because... I figure if I get the fastest cars out of the way as soon as possible, this might help me to get some prior experience before we move on to the championship. So that's basically how we're starting this off, and already my car has been spun around, which doesn't surprise me. But then again, that's why I'm trying to get this out of the way. And things are going dreadfully at the moment. It's kind of what I was expecting. Medium right. Medium left. Medium right. And I make it to my next checkpoint. Yeah, by the way, we also have to get through these courses on a time limit. And if you don't get to the checkpoint before time runs out, then basically you fail. You do get a multitude of shots to try and redeem yourself, but I can assure you it's not going to be that easy. And I am also hoping that championship mode will turn out to be easier than what I think arcade mode has turned out to be so far. Probably doesn't help to say that I've shortened this to two laps, but again, I have my reasons. And I can guarantee the start of this game will feel a bit inauspicious. At least compared to the wins I basically got on the board early on, but again, I figure if I just get the fastest cars out of the way first, 
hopefully we should be alright. Because I figure if I'm going to get through the hard stage of arcade mode, it's going to take something pretty special for me to get through the rest of arcade mode. Of course, winning doesn't matter. The only thing you really need to do is finish. And hopefully, as long as you can finish, then you should be fine. At least that's from what I know. You just need to get to the end of the stages while still having at least one or two coins left. I know to some of you this feels a bit inauspicious, but again, I wouldn't have suspected this was going to go any other way. So I decided to get the fastest cars out of the way because, well, I want to come up with a compromise. And also because, well, I know precisely what car it is I want to use for the championship, which will hopefully be easier for me to get through. I know to some of you this might feel inauspicious, but because of how much of a struggle it is to just try and get used to these cars, well, this is basically not going to go any other way. Is what I think. Also because, well, the fastest cars as I would have expected. They are pretty difficult to tame. Also another thing I really like about this game is the usage of the in-house rock soundtrack, which I think is really cool. But this game does have a lot of jank, to put it simply. And it is fair to say that this was definitely a game of its time. Anyway, on now to Indonesia, and where hopefully I will be there to achieve better than what I achieved in Corsica. That stage was not going to go any other way, in all honesty. Even if I tried to show I could be a good driver, I don't think there's any other way this game could have started. But at least I still have all my credits, so that is one good thing I can get out of all this. Fortunately, however, I do have prior experience with completing most of these stages. So as long as I don't make too many mistakes, I think we should be alright here. Plus I am doing this on the rookie difficulty, but I can assure you this is not going to be easy for me to get through would really help if I could stop spinning my car around. It would really help if I could stop spinning my car around. Easy right. Luckily, however, I am closer this time to Easy right. the leaders. Medium left. And since we are Easy on dirt, hopefully Easy left. I can fight my way back. But we'll wait and see. I just need to make sure I don't Easy rack left. myself in the process. One more lap. Easy right. Anyway, Easy right. I did choose to do two laps Easy around left. each of these tracks for a reason, because Easy well, left. certain ones Easy are going to be tougher to tame than others, Easy left. if you want my honest opinion. Easy right. That's how I think some of these tracks are going to go, and it's not going to be possible for me to get through them. 
if I choose to leave the fastest cars until last. Personally, I don't want to do that. And you can probably see why as well, because, like I said, these cars are pretty tough to tame. And it is fair to say that car control, if you have it, even if it's on the controller, that is probably going to be the best thing you can hope for. But anyway. So yeah, car control you first. is basically the main key to beating this, is what me thinks. And you have got to make sure that you're in it to finish it. Not in it to win it, but in it to finish it. Also, if you press the start button after you finish the race, you can basically just skip over to the next one. Anyway, I got my first win on the board in arcade mode, and it happened in Indonesia. Now we move on to Spain, and where in this we are represented by a Seat Ibiza. the loading screen. Yeah, each of the cars in this game do get their own unique loading screens, which I think is pretty cool. I also know there's a total of eight rallies I have to get through, but as long as I don't struggle too much, I should be alright with this once I really get used to the physics. So, oh god, please don't rock. Okay. Yeah, by the way, you have got to keep your car... You have got to keep your car off the wall if you're going to hope to succeed. Basically, this is my idea of coming up with a compromise. I will use all three car types as we go along through this game, but to me... And my car... Almost did not make the checkpoint, but I'm so glad to say in the end it did. Anyway. Oh yeah, you should also break for the jumps as well, because if you don't, then well... This game will basically send you flying to the moon. And it will basically cause you to get stuck in a tree when you land. So you've really got to be mindful of how you take the jumps, because most of the jumps in this game, if you don't break for those jumps, then basically this game will basically chew you up and then spit you out. So you have to break for most of the jumps in this game, and you have really got to be mindful of those jumps when you take them. As in, you need to have superlative awareness when it comes to using those jumps. You basically have to step on the brakes for most of them. Otherwise, it'll just chew you up and spit you out. You really have got to be careful on these jumps. And that's basically what the case is here. You really need to take care of the car, if you can do it. Anyways, I win. Alright, two wins out of three. I am happy with that now. May not be perfect, but at least I got two wins on the board. I also figured I might as well see if it's... I also figured I might as well see if it's... possible for me to get some further camera shots in case of my first ones don't work out. I'd say they were pretty good, but hopefully these ones will be better in some way. So that's now three stages down, and we still have one more stage to go. Alrighty. Okay, I think that's enough. 
Just figured I'd get myself those extra shots, so I don't lose anything. And now we move on to our final easy stage in arcade mode, which takes place here in England, which is represented by the Ford Escort Kazi. <clears throat> So we've got two Evo 4s two, and one Escort as our competition here. And we are driving on dirt, so this is definitely going to be one of those courses where car control is more favourable. Well, I did get two wins on the board already, so I think that's fine by me. I was kind of expecting myself to struggle on the dirt anyway. Even though most, even though two of the stages I did were on tarmac, but nonetheless, I more or less know my way around here. I just need to make sure that my car stays under control whilst I do it. That's basically what my uh, idea is. But anyway. I'm now closing in on the leader, and keeping myself in contention. It's only going to be a two lap race, just need to make sure I stay in control of my car whilst I do it. And that's precisely what I don't do. Did I also mention on other surfaces, it's pretty hard to keep your car under control and prevent it from oversteering. Well, that's basically what happened there, because, well, apparently my car did not want to steer for the corner, and basically the car oversteered and went into a spin. I almost saved it, but I Easy couldn't right. quite Easy get left. the save done. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time is understandable. I can definitely say these cars, at least with the 300 horsepower cars, they definitely feel right. oversteery as hell in some of these corners. And you definitely need to watch your concentration Medium left. if you're going to get it done Medium is right. what I think but nonetheless I am managing to Medium keep in right. control of my car now which is one good thing and off the final corner and there we go you first. I win 3 out of 4 in the easy difficulty of arcade and what that also means is I have finished arcade mode okay moving on and that only took me 18 and a half minutes to get through all those congratulations you completed the arcade easy mode what is this I see I think I have an idea over what's gonna happen next so autosave it would still be a few years before that would become a feature. And now, all I have to do is save the game. So, we just need to head down to save game data. And it says a file already exists, but I'm going to press the start button anyway because, well, this is a progressional file, if you will. And yeah, saving the game, by the way, does take a while. Anyway, game is now saved. On now to the medium difficulty of arcade mode. See you in the next one.